Hello everyone, welcome back to another episode of Jungle Girls Tech Talk, Let's Talk Technology. So for today's episode, we'll be diving deep into the fundamentals of Python. Whether you're curious about Python or you're a beginner, this episode is for you. So for today's episode, we'll be talking about the basics of Python. And our guest for today is our lovely sister from Jungle Girl. She's a final year student at Lincoln Queen, and she has been a great help and has been innovative in other projects so let's welcome miss hello my name is harkalon and i'm a final year student at Likoku university and one of django girls so today we'll be diving into the essential of python we'll be looking at um the variables the functions and some of control flows so as we dive in, Ms. Kalon, can you give us an overview of what Python is? Because our viewers would like to know what is Python? What is this programming language? So Python is a beginner-friendly programming language. It is versatile. Um, it is like almost like we can say an almost like an English because it's so simple. It's easy to learn and. It, it has so many advantages that you can use and the world is kind of evolving towards the Python programming language. Continuing, we have uh, variables. So variables are kind of like a container. So in layman's time, let's say you have a cup and you store water in it. So the cup is the variable. It kind of stores something for us. It stores data in this sense. So we have variables that can store numbers, variables that can store um, text, strings. So we have plenty of them. And Python is so simple that we don't need for other programming language data types. We just say, for example, let's say I'm trying to store my name. I will just say name equals to Hawa. And that's it. That's all for variables. So it's so simple that you can use it in so many things. So we have um, control flows. So control flows basically are the conditions in which our code has to be executed. So for example, we have two types. We have the conditional statements and we have loops. So conditional statements are like, the name itself, conditions. Yeah. So they are like conditions in which a certain thing has to be done. True. So like, it would be like, you have to do this before you do this. So mm -hmm. we have, we have two types, two main types. We have if statement and the if yes. else. So if statement is, we have to, let, let's say, age equals to 20, right? And we have a statement that says, if age equals to 20, do this. But if the age is not equal to 20, nothing will be done. Exactly. And then we have if else. That is, if age is not equal to 20, what should be done? True. So it's as simple as that. And then we have loops. Loops are kind of like an iteration over and over and over. They are basically telling the, the code how many times to run, what, how many times we have to look for something. Yeah. So, so yeah, basically a uh, fundamental control flow in which our code has to be run. And lastly, we'll look into functions. So functions are like one of the most important things in Python. So they help manage our code. They, make, they help make our code reusable. So for example, instead of you going to define things over and over and over again, you can just define a function do your code into it and then just refer to it whenever you're you using need it. it. Yes. So they make it man they make our code manageable, reusable, and also we can write clean code with with functions so that in case we are passing on the projects to another programmer, it will be easily readable and easily manageable that way. Remember, variables are, are like containers, control flow are conditions that uh, tell our codes how to run and then functions I will make our code manageable and more easier to use so guys you've heard it all from our sister miss Howard Callon that's all for today but before closing we would like her to give us three recommendations of websites online resources that you will be able to use when doing Python okay so three 
of the things that I use. We have um, real python.com yeah. then we have um, fountain masters and then we have program with mosh program with mosh is a youtube video he's very good it has every aspect and it is well explained and maybe along the way you can also check out freeco.com for further explanation and certificates so now we have three questions that we'll ask miss Callon. for the first question miss Callon, can you tell us how has it been part of Django girls since it's a community and how has collaboration helped you so far in your programming journey being part of this community has been truly really rewarding because i'm being around people your age learning the same thing being the, the phone environment and the lecture has been so accommodating it has been good it has been rewarding really so um it really it has really helped me it really motivates me to actually push on push forward and also to see that my lecturers work doesn't go in vain so and i also want to see more female programmers around so it's kind of like i have this on me that if i learn and also people around me i can let me say i could just teach them yeah exactly what teach them, <laughs> and then also kind of inspire them to work together have that kind of conducive environment for ladies where we won't feel yeah, I get it. To do it. <laughs> around, exactly. away from the male you know male yeah i get know. it <laughs> Being fans of Jungle Girls is so, so fun and you need to get yourself in a community as a whole that will help you develop yourself. Now, Miss Callon, we are curious to know your favorite Python project. Can you tell us about it, the lesson you learned and how did you go about it? So my favorite Python project, so it's actually with Django, but it may not be something wow that you may think it is but it's just a simple online shop so the reason is my favorite because that's where i learned like every like new it's like really new to me like i learned to integrate things into it payment system and other things so it was really fascinating to me to know that wow i can really do this thing like you know like you see things on the phone that you want to say ah, i wish i could recreate it and then yeah. finally you can recreate it so it, it was you just be amazed yeah it was amazing so that i would say that was, that was my favorite project because i get to learn things and even though i may be working on other things in the future that one is close to my heart because it's like a starting Aww. point <laughs> like a starting point for me so yeah that's my favorite that's really nice so yeah guys need to do a project it doesn't have to be something big just something little that you will learn a lot from it our last question miss Carlo, can you tell us uh what are your future goals and aspiration as you move in your joining with python and django my plan maybe to be pretty obvious i'm trying to be a full stack developer you know? developer. and also a game developer which is a future goal so I just want to learn everything like my front end, my back end, my database, try to get my Django or like on spot. Even though not hundred percent, but I get there at some point. Yeah. And then I'm trying to, you know, try to actually be inspire other people to learn this Python and Django. Like there's much more. Maybe I think we're fine, but mm -hmm. we'll get there at some point. And also my future challenge i don't know what it is for now but i think i'll be i'll be ready for it I'll sure ready to tackle go girl <laughs> i'm ready to tackle it and hopefully smoothly and come out victorious in the end i guess so guys you have heard it all from miss Callum as we wrap up this insightful episode thank you all for joining us today and thank you, Miss Callon, for sharing your expertise. And we hope to see you in the future. And make sure that your shopping project is everywhere because I would like to shop from there. <laughs> thank you, guys. And please stay tuned. Don't forget to like, comment, share, and subscribe to our channel. And feel free to ask any question, share your thoughts, because we're trying to create a community and connect with us. You will not regret it. This is Django Girls. I'm your host, Maria Smith. Until next time, guys. So let's, let's start, start technology. technology. <laughs>
Welcome to the Limco Queen Innovation Hub, where creativity meets technology. At the Limco Queen Innovation Hub, we provide a collaborative platform between government, academia, and industry to support the innovation and entrepreneurship ecosystem in Sierra Leone. Our state-of-the-art facilities are designed to inspire creativity and encourage out-of-the-box thinking. As part of our corporate innovation services, we work with our in-house experts to offer solutions in software development, audio-visual production, product design and development, research and development, branding and packaging design, architectural design and visualization, business development and consulting. We welcome partnerships with like-minded organizations to collaborate on designing and implementing projects that would promote the socio-economic landscape of Sierra Leone. The Innovation Hub has been a game changer for me. It has given me the opportunity to partake in several pitch night competitions and develop the entrepreneurship skills I need to succeed in the real world. For further inquiries, contact us on 076-838-435 or visit our office at the Limco Queen University, number 51, Regent Road, Hill Station, Freetown. Join the Limco Queen Innovation Hub community today and turn your ideas into reality. Limco Queen Innovation Hub.